India is a home to many beautiful hill stations like Kulu, Manali, Nainital, Mussoorie, Kashmir, etc. Now, all these beautiful hill stations are located in the lap of beautiful Himalayas. The scenic beauty of Himalayas is mesmerizing. One can find lush green valleys and snow-capped mountains. Even lakes and waterfalls are also found here. Now, one can also practice skiing and trekking in beautiful Himalayas. The panoramic view of Himalayas is mesmerizing and enchanting. Now, do you know what kind of landform is the Himalayas? Well, the vast and gigantic Himalayas is a mountain. Now, what kind of landform is a mountain? Well, a mountain is an elevated landmass with steep slopes and a peak or a confined summit. So, see here we have a picture of a mountain and here we can see that this mountain is quite tall compared to its adjoining or surrounding areas and also it has steep slopes and a peak or a summit. Now, a mountain can exist individually as in the case of first picture or they can also exist in group. See here, we see a group of mountains and this is known as a mountain range. So, a mountain can be found individually or they can exist in groups. Now that you have understood the meaning of mountains, let us see how mountains are formed. In order to understand how mountains are formed, let us perform an activity. Take an eraser and mark lines on it. Now, take a knife and cut or slice the eraser along the lines. Now, press all the parts of the eraser and uplift it. Once you raise it, you will find that the middle portion gets submerged while the either blocks stands uplifted. Now, some mountains are also formed in a similar manner. We know our Earth's crust is divided into several lithospheric or tectonic plates. These tectonic plates are not stationary, rather they are in constant motion. Here, the red arrow shows the direction in which the tectonic plates move. The tectonic plates either diverge or they converge. Now, during such movement, when the tectonic plates diverge, the strip of the land in between gets stretched and cracks or falls are formed on the earth's surface. Now, as the tectonic plates move further apart, the land in between the two plates subsides or they can also raise up thereby forming a block mountain. So, here we find that block mountains are formed by divergence of tectonic plates. So, in our previous video, we saw how block mountains are formed. We learned that when two plates diverge, then the land in between two fault lines either gets submerged or is sometimes raised up, thereby forming block mountains. So, due to movement of tectonic plates, we either have a raised section or a submerged part of the earth's crust. Now, this raised section of the earth's crust is known as horst or block mountain. And the submerged part of the land is known as Graben or a rift valley. So, here we find that a mountain formed due to divergence of two tectonic plates either has a raised section which is known as Horst or it can also have a submerged part which is known as Graben or rift valley. Now, let us know about some of the examples of these block mountains. A rift valley in between two block mountains is present in the central part of India. And the example of such mountain range is Vindhya range and Satmura range. Here Vindhya range and Satpura range are two block mountains. 
Now in between these two block mountains we have a submerged part or a depressed part which is known as a rift valley and this rift valley is drained by Narmada river. So here Vindhya range and Satpura range are block mountains that is the race section and the part drained by Narmada river is a rift valley or the submerged part of the land. Now another example of a block mountain is Vosges mountains. It is present in Europe and the adjoining rift valley of Vosges mountains is drained by Rhine river. So Rhine valley is the rift valley situated beside the Vosges mountains where Vosges mountains is a block mountain. Now before proceeding with our lesson let us see if we can answer this. Vosges mountain is found in India, Europe, Australia or Africa. What do you think? Well, the correct answer is Europe. We just learned that Vosges mountain is an example of a block mountain that is situated in the continent of Europe. So the correct option is Europe. Now let us perform another activity. Take some hand towels and lay them on top of one another on a flat surface, say a table. Then take two shoe boxes and push them towards each other. Once you do so, you will find that the hand towels lying in between them gets crumbled or is raised up. So in our previous activity, we saw that when two shoe boxes were pushed closer to one another, the hand towels lying in between them got crumbled and uplifted. Similarly, when two crustal plates move closer to one another, the overlying locks or the land lying in between them gets crumbled and uplifted in order to form a fold mountain. Thus, fold mountains are formed due to convergence of tectonic plates. So, we learn that when two tectonic plates come closer or converge, then the overlying logs or the land lying in between them gets crumbled and forms an undulating surface. Now let us see what are these parts called. Well, the upfolded part or the one that looks like an inverted U is called an anticline. Whereas the downfolded part or the one that looks like a U is known as syncline. So anticline is the upfolded part of the mountain while syncline is the downfolded part of the mountain. Now let us point these two parts in a real fold mountain. So here we have the picture of a real fold mountain. Now let us identify these parts in this fold mountain. Well, we just learned that the part that looks like an inverted U or the upfolded part of a mountain is known as anticline. So this is an anticline while the downfolded part or the one that looks like a U is known as syncline. So this is a syncline. We shall now discuss about some examples of fold mountains. Well, here we have two pictures of mountains. The first one is the Himalayas and the second one is the Aravallis. Well, these two mountains are examples of four mountains. Now, if we look at the pictures of these two mountains, can you find any differences between them? Yes, of course, these two mountains look quite different from one another. For instance, in case of the Himalayas, we can see that it is very tall compared to the Aravallis. So this height is much greater than this height. Also, the Himalayas have steep slopes and it has a peak or a summit. Whereas the Aravallis have gentle slopes and its peak is not conical rather it has rounded peaks or summit 
So the difference between these two mountain ranges is that the Himalayas have high peaks and steep slopes, whereas the Aravallis have rounded peaks and gentle slopes. Well, the appearance of these two mountains differ because the first one is an example of Young Fold Mountain, while Aravallis is an example of Old Fold Mountain. Now, Young Fold Mountain, as its name suggests, is very young. That is, this mountain has been formed very recently, about 50 to 60 million years ago. Whereas, Aravallis was formed quite a long time before Himalayas was formed. That is, Aravallis was formed in an ancient period, about 350 million years ago. So, Aravallis is an example of an old fold mountain, whereas Himalayas is an example of a young fold mountain. So, from these, we can infer that young fold mountains are formed very recently and they have higher elevation with steep slopes and a conical peak. Whereas old fold mountains were formed quite a long back and therefore they have been denuded by various agents of weathering and erosion over the years. So, they have gentle slopes, lower elevation and rounded peaks. So, we find that on the basis of period of formation, fold mountains can be categorized into two types, young fold mountains and old fold mountains. Some mountains are also formed when hot molten rocks come out from the earth's interior through cracks or vents present on the earth's surface. The hot lava flowing out of a volcano gradually condenses in successive layers thereby forming a mountain. Thus, the mountain that are formed due to volcanic activities is known as a volcanic mountain. Some examples of volcanic mountains are Mount Kilimanjaro which is situated in Africa. So, this is the picture of Mount Kilimanjaro and here we can see that it is located in the continent of Africa. Another example of volcanic mountain is Mount Fujiyama. See here, we can see that Mount Fujiyama is a part of Asian subcontinent. And here we have the picture of Mount Fujiyama. So, Mount Kilimanjaro and Mount Fujiyama are some important volcanic mountains present on the Earth's surface. So, we find that mountains can be categorized into three broad groups on the basis of their formation. The mountains that are formed due to divergence of tectonic plates when either the part in between two fault lines submerges or is raised up is known as a block mountain. Secondly, the mountains that are formed by the convergence of tectonic plates such that the overlying rocks gets crumbled thereby forming a fold mountain. And thirdly, mountains are also formed due to volcanic activities and these mountains are known as volcanic mountains. So, mountains can be categorized into three types, block mountains, fold mountains and volcanic mountains. So, in today's lesson, we first understood the meaning of mountains. Mountains refers to an elevated landmass which has steep slopes and a peak or a summit. Then, we understood that mountains can be categorized into various types on the basis of their formation. For instance, block mountains, fold mountains and volcanic mountains. So, that's all about our discussion on mountains. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one-to-one -one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5,000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step-by-step -step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via 
games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now